When the continuous data grid ruler is set to articulations, articulation assignments are still masked by the color fields generated by CCs. Arrow is pointing to four selected notes, yet it's almost impossible to tell which articulation assignment bars have been selected. When the MIDI editor CC data grid is in this mode, the articulation bars should be foregrounded and CC colors backgrounded. What? It's almost impossible to tell which articulation assignment bars have been selected. This first solution only contains a few steps. First, I'm going to select Option Command E. That shows the track selector for this editor. Then I'm going to hold down all modifiers plus H. And that shows in the track selector only the MIDI event data that's being shown in the editor. So notice I have the MIDI track. They're all using channel one. I have notes and the controllers. So modulation, volume, and expression. So if I hide these, now I can see the articulations and the notes. And to make this even better, notice the notes are a pink color but the articulations are a different color. If the controllers are covering the articulations, you can still see the articulations, but it's hard to tell the colors. We can make that a little bit easier by right-clicking on notes and choosing use articulation color for event type. And notice that the notes now are the same color as the articulations. When the MIDI editor CC data grid is in this mode, the articulation bars should be foregrounded and CC colors backgrounded. In this next solution, there are two keystrokes that I use. The first one is all modifiers plus E, which is the show only active edit type, or control Q. And the third one is one of my favorites. So all modifiers plus E. And if I show the track selector and then I hide everything but the current events, I'm going to have articulations, I'm going to have modulation, volume, and expression. And if I hold down shift right arrow or left arrow, you'll see that the insert type menu will change. It's also showing off and on velocity. So any combination of those three solutions will help a lot in bringing to the foreground whatever MIDI event or articulation you're trying to see. So I hope that helps.